right, so with PA school, there are a bunch of prerequisites that you have to accomplish to actually get into PA school. But we're gonna be talking specifically about the prerequisite courses and how to tackle that beast. Let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so again, we're gonna be talking about prerequisites in today's video. If you are watching this, you're likely getting geared up for applying to PA school. Maybe you're already in the throngs of applying through CASPA, which is the central application site. And you know, you would have had to have completed some prerequisites. Maybe you're in the swing of actually getting those prerequisites done, or you might be ahead of the game and you're thinking, all right, like how many prerequisites do I need to do and how am I gonna go about doing that? So. One of you guys had a question for me. It was from Sarah and she said, I retook a class twice to get a higher grade. When selecting prerequisites, are we able to select the highest attempt or is it the average of the two attempts? Okay, so this is a good question. Um, this is, there's a little bit more, I guess, that I need to kind of pull from this question because your your statement of applying to take it, your t you took it twice to get a higher grade, but selecting it, it's so it gets a little murky and when I go through this whole long-winded answer you're gonna understand why okay so are you able to select the highest grade yes you are so you when you, the schools ask for your prerequisite grades because sometimes in CASPA um, they ask you to put in your prerequisite courses to identify that yes you actually did take the courses that they require and you are, are meeting the minimum grade essentially requirement that they ask for each of those courses so there's an opportunity to do that. You can choose the highest attempt, okay? Um, that's what I did and it worked out fine. However, when it comes to the actual GPA and figuring out what your science GPA is or your prerequisite GPA is or your overall GPA, that's where it gets murky because the schools have it within their purview to choose whichever grade they want. Okay, so with that being said, the schools that I applied to said that they would choose the highest attempted um, grade or highest obtained grade for the prerequisite requirements that I attempted. So that was a benefit for me. I was happy about that because, you know, I got A's when I retook those prerequisites. So yay, <laughs> you know, take the highest one. However, when it came to now calculating your overall GPA and your overall science GPA, it was an average of those courses. So Sarah, in your instance, when CASPA is gonna be calculating your GPA and your science GPA, they're gonna take an average of all of those attempts that you have. However, the school has it within their right to choose the highest attempt. You just need to ask them, hey, how do you guys go about picking prerequisite requirements. Do you have even a prerequisite um, GPA? Because not all schools do. So that may be something else that you might wanna look into. But when it comes down to actually entering it into CASPA, you can absolutely choose the highest attempted grade that you obtained, okay? All right, that was pretty simple and a pretty easy question to answer. If you guys have any other questions for me, and it wasn't as long-winded as, uh, as I thought it was gonna be, so <laughs> kudos to me on that. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video because it helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot. Please follow me on Instagram at AdonaThePA and on Instagram at GetThatCUniversity where we help you not only get into, but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was that was weird, you guys. We help you not only get into, but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. 